Hello to all my wonderful friends in Godly Play Class at St. Andrews. We miss you guys so much, but I'm here today to talk about St. Francis of Assisi with you. And because it's a special day, I brought all my creature friends. I've got a live one, Griffin, got Possum, got a giraffe, and even Nemo. Today is the feast day of St. Francis. He's the patron saint for those who care for animals and the earth. And that is why we bring our pets to church each year for Father Jeff to bless because of St. Francis. Who was St. Francis? What's his story? Well, he was born in a place called Assisi in Italy. And when he was young, he wanted to be a soldier. He was serving in a war when he got captured and was imprisoned. And there he had an experience where Jesus spoke to him. He was called to leave his old way of life. And Francis was inspired. When he was freed, and even though his family disapproved, he gave up all of his family's wealth and began to devote his life to God. Francis was a lover of nature. He took long walks in the countryside. He studied plants and trees. He really was the first environmentalist. Francis felt that all plants and animals were part of God's kingdom. St. Francis invited all creation, animals, plants, natural forces, even brother sun and sister moon to give honor and praise to the Lord. He wrote something called the Canticle of the Creatures. And Charlotte is going to read you a story now from this book based on the Canticle of Creatures, brother sun and sister moon. Hi, I'm Charlotte, and today I'm going to be reading Brother, Son, Sister, Moon. We come to sing a song of praise to you, O God, the Lord of heaven and earth, who by your power and out of your love has created all things and called them good. We praise you for our brother, Son who in his radiant dawning every day reminds us that it was you who brought forth light. We praise you for our sister moon and all of our sister stars who clothe the night with their beauty and like you watch over us while we sleep. We praise you for our brother wind and every kind of weather, stormy or mild, for when he roars, he reminds us of your might, and when he comes as a cooling breeze, he tells us of your gentleness. Praise, too, for our ever-present brother, Air, who, though invisible, surrounds us and gives us life and breath. Truly, he is a creation in your likeness. We praise you for our sister, Water, who fills the seas and rushes down the rivers, who wells up from the earth and falls down from heaven, who gives herself that all living things may grow and be nourished. We praise you for our brother fire, whose strength warms our homes. And in those resplendent dancing light, we glimpse your playfulness. We praise you for our sister earth, who declares your mother love for us as she sustains our bodies with food and our souls with beauty. We praise you for the ones among us who forgive those who have wronged them in the same spirit as you constantly forgive us. And for those who must bear in this life sickness and trial, we ask the comfort of your everlasting arms. We praise you that in this world of hatred and war, you still give us courageous brothers and sisters who offer their lives in the making of peace. They are indeed your beloved children. And though we often fear her, we praise you for our sister death, who will usher us at last into your loving presence, where we will know and love you as you have always known and loved us. For all of your gifts, for this wondrous universe in which we live, for family, for friends, for work, and for play, for this life and the life to come, we sing our praise to you. For this life and the life to come, 
we sing our praise to you, O Lord, the Father and Mother of all creation. Give us, we pray, the grace to honor you this day and forevermore. Angel. The end. We hope you enjoyed that story and we hope you enjoyed today. Go outside, look up at the sky, look up at the trees, feel the leaves under your feet, smell the flowers, hear the birds sing, love on your animals. These are all things St. Francis would love us to do. And now we will close with the prayer of St. Francis. The Peace Prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.